Welcome to Learning Archicad 18 with me, Donna. I am an engineer in building and construction and also an educator in specializing in design software. I've already taught many people on how to use Archicad. I've already done many projects with the old version of Archicad and enhancing architectural design and models with Photoshop. This Learning Archicad video course is for anyone who wants to draw an architectural design in this tutorial, we try to make this model from A to Z. In short, I start at a square one and do not assume you have any experience using computer edit design. In the course of this journey, you'll get, you'll get up to speed in all complexities needed to get you successfully and productively with this amazing software. So here is the interface of Archicad and let me bring you on a tour guide. Here we have the menus and here we have the toolbox and here we have the uh, navigator and in the toolbox we've got the select the select uh, buttons such as arrow marquee and then in the design we have the wall the doors the windows the column the beam the slab etc and in document we have the dimension um, level dimension tool text label fill line etc and in more we've got the grid elements wall end corner window lamp etc so the first thing to do when you are using archicad is um, specify your working units as you do with other drawing software we go to option project preference working units and I'm gonna use centimeter then OK then I will also specify the um, the dimension units I go to option still at the project preference and I go to uh, dimensions and I'm gonna use centimeter and without decimals OK then what I'm gonna do now is I will disable this grid display I go to view and click on grid display then I'm a fit in window <coughs> then um, what we will do is we will draw this model as I said earlier to do so uh, the first thing we're going to do is uh, we're gonna set our columns uh, with the grid system we go to design grid system I check columns and dimensions and we're gonna set the columns I go to settings and uh, I'm gonna make I'm gonna use a, a column of 20 centimeters square <coughs> and I'm gonna change the model I will use stucco stucco white rough I hit OK then here I will put 90 50 this is the distance between the dimensions and the next thing to do is I will set the grid elements and I go to marker I set this to 6 that's all to make this circle smaller I hit OK and the uh, distance I will do 150 in grid position I'm not gonna use the E and D so I'm gonna delete them you press on the minus if you wanna delete if you wanna add you press on the plus okay I delete this one and uh, here I will put 430 and 290 in the other side this is the crossing so here I will put 200 470 and here 315 sorry 15 and here f um, 285 then I hit OK here we are I'll put it here this way there you go 
now we've got our columns in the grid system and there are some columns in this uh, design that I will not use so I'm gonna delete them like this this and this one here delete and now we can preview it in a 3d window I right click and go to a 3d window or F3 next time I'll just press F3 if I say F3 it means 3d windows okay I click it here we are but a little problem not really a problem but um, here we still have the grid in the 3d m in the 3d window so I'm I'm going to disable it so I select the grid when you select in ARCHICAD you need to press shift so as to use the magnet because there is a um, a kind of a magnet system to snap the objects you want to select I press shift and I click one because they are all grouped if I select one all of them will be selected and I go to the settings and in 3d view I uncheck display in 3d view okay there we go so now we don't have the grid system then what we're gonna do now is we're gonna give a specific height a specific height for uh, for each column so I'm just gonna work in the 3d window I select this column here this one and I go to the settings I'll do um, I'll choose uh, not linked and as a height as the height I do 400 okay and this one and this 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 they will have the height of um, 8 890 okay there we go and next is this this will have the height of um, okay in the drop down menu I'll choose not linked 670 I hit OK and I'll choose these three with this one then they will have the height of um, 710 okay there we go um, this will be the height of our buildings and um, these are the column that are used in the model